negative 4 at 5, remember our title is doing calculations that cross 0. Okay, so from negative 4, how many steps do you have to make to get to 0? Have a think. That's right. Someone would have thought, okay, I need to do four steps to the right to get to zero. Well, we were asked to add five to negative four. So we just have one more to use, which means negative four at five is one. So that's how you begin to understand these and then you're able to do your calculations. So instead of doing these jumps that we would normally have done, we know that we can say, five can be split into four and one and we know that negative four at four is zero so with the one left which we need to count we'll get one so you can see with this strategy we don't need to be counting those steps you know in a crude way you can actually do this mentally it becomes really useful that method becomes really useful when we're doing large calculations like this negative 13 at 27 you think okay negative 13 add 13 will be zero okay what is left if i have taken 13 from 27 you say oh it's 14 oh that means negative 13 at 27 is 14. so you can see we no longer need to use the number line we can start working doing these calculations mentally so words like this drop less will tell you that you're subtracting or counting to the left or if you have a temperature scale like this you're counting down so from two degrees in london if we count six steps down that will take us to negative four right so so far you have learned that one strategy that you can use to work with directed numbers that's positive and negative integers is by thinking about partitioning the number that you want to add or subtract from your directed number from your number whether it's positive or negative so by mentally doing that you're thinking remember we, the title is to cross zero so you're thinking what is the first thing i need to do to get the calculation to be zero and then what's left okay so that i that will give me the number of steps i need to take to get to the position of the correct number so using that mental method you will notice that you don't even need to use the number line 